All right, fellas, I think it is time. Today we are on Noxious RSPS, and I'm gonna be um, trying a game mode that, uh... Oh, what XP mode should I go, actually? Um, yeah, well, I'm just gonna go standard XP. But, uh... <laughs> gonna play an ultimate iron man i've actually never done an ultimate iron man account um on any server i believe yet so uh, let's do it got ultimate selected oh for quite a challenge um we actually will do the tutorial so why not i don't think i did it in my last video and um so we got the teleporter Destruction portal. Okay, so I didn't even know about that. Jobs. There we go. Ultimate account. So I guess uh, not having a bank, um, opening this starter pack might um, clog my inventory straight away, but we kind of need it for the starter gear, so. <laughs> Bro. Um, okay, so let's see. I guess I just train and then just drop the items as I level up. Um, these runes are absolutely clogging my inventory already. Um, and unfortunately, they're not bank. So we will have to um, be very cautious after this, but I'm not going to say no to some starter gear. Um, it will help out a lot, especially for this account, but we will have to, um, just basically try to, um, manage our inventory, uh, at some point, but yeah, I guess I need to work out a looting bag and all the shenanigans. I actually have no idea how, uh, ultimate Iron Man's do it. I, I mean, I've got a, I've got a sort of general idea, basically. As soon as I get the looting bag, I can store a lot of these items in there. Um, but it's still it just it just seems like a headache right now. <laughs> Why did I pick this mode? Um just uh skilling wise, I just feel like it's gonna be so annoying unless I can clear this inventory. When I look at this um gear, I think the leather's pretty meh, but I do really want to keep the robes and the rune armor set. But, what I was thinking is, I won't open these sets until I'm, like, wanting, really wanting to use them. Because, um, them being a one inventory slot is so much better right now. Uh, you can probably re-slot them, actually. You might be able to do that. No, maybe not, but, because I don't know if Iron Man can actually do that. Maybe they can't. But, um, yeah, there's still, there's a little bit of, a uh, brain cells required for this mode that I just don't have. But, um... Yeah, I'm just thinking, like, skilling it would be such a headache right now. Like, if I tried to go fishing now, it just wouldn't work. Like, it just wouldn't. I don't need to do fishing right now, but, um, yeah, it would be a massive pain right now. So, I'm just thinking, um, just train every time I get, um, certain levels. Um, I can, like, when I get 40 attack, I can drop the iron skim, so that's another inventory slot. I think that's the way to go, just train and use the stuff that... Use the starter pack that got given to me, the dragon skin's gonna be amazing. And I can even get the defender because of this iron set, so I actually need to keep the iron set as well. So I can even get a defender really early, because it's all, it's all in my inventory. So we did the initial training. Um, gonna get an easy task. Six cowfires, too bad. We'll just do the other little ones. I really want to get to Slayer, I think. Um, Slayer's the way to go. Um, and then I just do Slayer for as long as I can until um, I need to grind skilling for something, because it's just inventory at the moment. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking if I can get... Um, if I can get to like enough Slayer for um, Cave Horrors, then I would just go straight for that. Get like the main Slayer items, the the Dragon Defender and the Slayer Helmet, and um, I'd pretty much be wearing that all the time, so it'd be an item I'd be keeping anyway. But I'll definitely be eating these leather now. I'm gonna keep any of it, not 
Just inventory spots, man. Get those. Nah. Uh, yeah, we're slowly getting this on in three bases, which is nice. This task is quite good for training. But as long as it don't run at me, we should be good. Yeah, polish. Yeah, definitely wasn't AFK. But, um. I can use this as a storage, I think. I should have kept a bunch of items in there. I just randomly spam collected them, but I'm dumb. Well, what I can actually do. But if you die again, they're gone. So, if I do decide to store items here. Um. I have to make sure I don't. Because then they're gone. Okay. Um. Need to know. Look. Um. Yeah. So I can actually use the. Yeah, I can use that. Um. Use that to my advantage, actually. Mm. That'd be a good place to store stuff while doing skilling. I could literally just. Uh, plank and then. Um. Leave my items there. Just collect the ones I need for the skilling, and then I can go back and grab them. I better make, I better make sure before I do that that I can actually just get back this way. Okay, look, I'm gonna be real. Set as a go. I, I was expecting that teleport to not work. I'm gonna be 100 percent real. Uh, so they've got the the dope coding, but um, so yeah, I can literally uh. I could plank somewhere and then say if I just wanted to do wood cutting, all I all I grab back is the axe. And then all I have to do basically once I'm done skilling or whatever, I can just teleport back to Lumbridge. And um there might be a direct teleport, I don't know. I've not should checked all the teleports properly. But I can just go back to Lumbridge and then I can go into here. Once I've done my skilling and all my items are going to be stored. Um, but it does, you do lose everything if you die again. So you don't want to, um, you don't want to leave anything in here. Uh, if you're going to go do combat or whatever, if you die, they're all gone, everything. Um, but yeah, that's, that's really good to know. It's going to make skilling a lot easier because I can just plank somewhere and then just retrieve the fishing tool and my coins or whatever. And I can just leave the items here and come back with them. So yeah, that's really dope. Before we wrap up this one, I wanted to just check all the shops. I didn't actually check these properly yet. But the Iron Man shop. I can get the items, I can get the God Stars, and I can get Elmanezanot and Proselyte for prayer. I also get Climbing Boots, I can get Avers. It's really nice that none of these are lost behind anything. Um, just need to make a bit more coins from feeding or something. Or well, maybe there's a shop you can sell stuff. I haven't actually looked fully yet. The other thing is there is an iron specific PDM point shop. So from this you can get PDM boxes, which could be really good, but they're 5,000 each. So you do actually get PDM points from literally every single monster. Even low level Slayer tasks, you will still get one point, which is really nice. Um... I'm not sure what this is. This must be a custom item or oh, upgrade for the toxic blowpipe. Interesting. That would be really nice to get. But 250,000, that'll take a minute. PBM supplies, you can get here in Bue Scrolls. Maybe I'll trade my fletching. Make myself a magic short bow and imbue it. That's always a good shout. Your burrow gloves here. Get your torso here as well. And you can actually get these scrolls and you can get overloads. So yeah, there's quite a lot of nice stuff I can unlock from those two shops. And yeah, um, I'll do a bit of training off screen just to get the low levels out of the way. I want to get right into Slayer and we'll probably go straight for the um, straight for the Slayer gear next episode. Get the torso, the defender, the fire cape, all that good stuff. And um, yeah, I'm really glad I found that. Um, Offer as well, where I can store my items, I can actually use that for skilling to my advantage. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next episode.